Paul from Windhorse, uh, thank you very much for taking the time out of the show. Has it been a good show for you? Generally speaking, yes. I mean, uh, times are more difficult and customers are a little bit cautious, but we've made some new customers and, uh, and generally held us end up. Yes, okay, so good. the year has been good for you as well? Yes, and of course we've had, have had uh, phenomenal growth in the website, which has been uh, quite astounding. So, yes, from that point of view, it's been very good. I work with you on, on Minicell. And you're using that at the show, are you? Yes, that's how we take the orders through Minicell mm. and uh, your process through the data bridge in the, in the normal way. Okay, and uh, how, how have you been finding connectivity uh, at the show? It's been okay, has it? Yeah, it's been fine, really. It's a good system, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when you're using Minicell, um, take me a, a bit through the process of um, how, how you work with the device and, and, and with the customer and with the products. Well, I think the, the advantage of a mini cell, which is taking it on a, um, a, a handheld, is you just don't have to think about what you're doing. It's very straightforward, so you can give you full attention to the customer, yep. and you can explain the product and, and so on, and then just simply zap the barcode, uh, all the items are barcoded, and you just simply um, zap it, and then uh, it's a very easy uh, interface to work with and very straightforward. So um, your minimum attention is given to uh, the technology right. and the maximum attention goes to the customer, which is of course what you need. Yeah, exactly. Customers uh, like the website because um, I think the, uh, a, a company like Windhorse has um, well over a thousand products continually in stock. Uh, and handling that amount, the success or failure of a website, is the degree to which customers can assimilate the, that the information of those products, find them readily and easily, yep. uh, and put to go, uh, together a coherent order of the type of products that they want. Um, and um, we found, uh, really using uh, Intercell, that um, uh, the, the website is very coherent, it's very easy to navigate, uh, it does what, what, um, you know, what customers want, really. Um, I mean, if I could say a bit more, in, in Windhorse we uh, have gone for a kind of integrated way of um, um, ordering uh, with customers. So the website sits alongside uh, trade shows here uh, that we're in now, uh, and also our mobile uh, show van fleet, and also our showroom in Cambridge as well. Um, and so what we're really trying to do is to, is to integrate the website into that overall strategy uh, of ordering in different ways. And the developments that we're aiming to do um, in partnership with you is to um, develop things like the, 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 so the customers can see back orders on their, on their accounts and so on and add to it and take stuff away uh, you know, for products to be flagged up when they come into stock. Um, so that um, really for the customer it, it um, moves on from being just a, a bit of a mix and match haphazard experience to one of emp empowering them to manage their own accounts successfully. Yeah. The more effectively they manage their account the more it works into sales for us so that's the, that's the strategy. Now the, the, the website uh, and, and the exhibition stand as we were joking yesterday, uh, being on the stand feels like I'm inside of the website. How, how do you get that kind of closeness together? Well, I think, um, yes, the, 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 we, we, we jokingly say that the website is a kind of uh, a trade show stand, a virtual trade show stand, basically. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the website's navigated through various categories and um, in much the same way as a trade show is laid out in various, uh, various product ranges. Okay. So that, that there's a coherence there that makes sense and the, and the customers are used to it. Customers that are used to the website, when they come to the trade show, will see the same products laid out in the same ways. So, Again, there's a coherence there, I think. Okay, so so that means there's there's careful planning then, obviously, when you're doing your stand, and, and do you, do you take the website catalog into consideration? Oh yes, un undoubtedly, and the same with the uh, mobile show stands as well, uh, mobile show vans as well. Oh yes, the vans. Yeah. Um, because we again we find that the website has other uses apart from just simply ordering. There's a whole number of customers that just browse it. Uh, in preparation for a visit from the van man so that they know what's in stock and again the, the, the categories that we put the products in are very important because of course the customer's got to be able to find the things that they want yeah. um, you know what's available for ready, ready for the van visit. And, 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 uh, and the, what technology are you providing the uh, van drivers with? Well, the, the van drivers use um, a mini cell as well right, okay. um, uh, with handhelds um, a more robust version of the ones that we use at the trade show. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's, it's pushed through the same system in, uh, on, on the data bridge and so on. Okay, so uh, 
I'm a customer and I come to you. <laughs> what kind of customers uh, do you usually uh, find come onto the stand? Uh, well, I mean, the whole range really. I mean, customers bit both big and small in the um, uh, you know, the beginning part of the, the week we had um, big customers from garden centre chains uh, right down to small shopkeepers who've got little concessions and so we, we have the lot of international customers, you know we had a customer from Bahrain on the stand recently, the furthest place that we supply is a, a gift shop in the Falkland Islands so you know really well, the sky's the limit. So. Yeah, <laughs> I was taking a while to get the order out yes. <laughs> but, uh, but that's, that's the, the thing isn't it because you've got a different uh, strategy uh, for dealing for different types of customers, yeah. you're, you're able to, to cater for a wide range of customers sure. with, with different needs. Yeah, yeah, and, and as I say, the, the big emphasis on the selling st strategy has always been to make sure that the various channels are integrated and linked with each other and act as a cohesive force rather than uh, seeing them as separate entities okay. uh, that, are, that, are, that are not connected with each other. Okay, and, and um, so I'm an international customer and I go to the website. How would you cater for me? Well, if, if, for example, you're a Dutch customer, we have yeah. the website in Dutch yep. um, because we have such a, a large cohort of customers in Holland. Uh, and I think eventually what we'll do is we'll actually have the, the website in various languages. Um, that's one thing. Um, also, of course, we have different currencies as well on the website. It's, it, it can be done in euros for customers right. in the eurozone uh, and so on. And, uh, of course, the different... Um, uh, the delivery charges to the various countries as well comes up depending on which country you log okay. in on. Yeah. Okay. So the company itself runs its own retail chain. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you've got, you've got a series yeah. of shops, shops as well. Shops as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I mean, we do obviously. I, uh, you know, when I when I'm actually in the field as a representative, I do uh, see my own customers' shops and what have you. So I have a kind of finger on the pulse for retail as well. Yeah. 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 Excellent. So you you're, you're pulling on that experience. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's brilliant. Well, Paul, thank you very much for taking the time out today. Enjoy the rest of the show, and uh, see you soon. Pleasure.